Okay, so we're gonna run through the activities and challenge in the This Is Engineering Entertainment Student Guide. So we're gonna start off with um, sports and engineering. Um, and this section begins with a little bit about Charles, the workout hacker. Now, um, Charles is a mechanical engineer uh, who's invented a boxing app to help um, athletes improve their game. There's a link here for you to find out more about Charles, including a video interview with him as well on the This Is Engineering website. And the first activity in this section is called Track Your Skip. Now this looks at collecting data to find out whether the length of a skipping rope might affect how many jumps you do in a minute and then perhaps affect what kind of workout you're looking for as well. So would a shorter rope mean that you do a more intense workout or would a, a shorter rope mean that you have a more gentle workout or does it not make any difference at all? So we're going to use something, an app called the Science Journal app, which is free to download. You don't need an account or anything to use it. Um, and it will use the accelerometer in your phone. If I go into the Science Journal app, get started, I'm gonna add a new experiment, um, and I'm just gonna use acceleration, the accelerometer function. For this activity, you'll need to find a way to secure your phone to yourself, so either if you've got a back pocket or um, a hip bag, um, and depending on whether your phone is gonna be vertical or horizontal, will depend on whether you use the X or Y axis. So if I'm gonna hold the phone um, horizontally, and I'm gonna be skipping in this direction. Then I wanna use the x-axis, and hopefully you can see there that those are the peaks. They show how many times that the phone went up, so that would be the same as each skip that you did as well. And you can record your experiment, and then track it, um, crop it down, so you just have one minute's worth of data. And then you can look at maybe designing your own app that gives personalised plans to people for different activities. The next activity is called Sporting Data. So this uses a number of graphics that show data for different sporting events, such as football, tennis um, and the Olympics, with some questions about each of them. Now the solutions, you can speak to your teacher about those. But what we're most interested in is thinking about what's good about these graphs what can you tell? What information can't you tell, perhaps? What you think works and what you think could be improved on them. We then go on to look at Daniela, the wonder maker. Um, she works in 3D design um, and gaming using virtual reality. Um, so the first activity we're going to look at is looking at 3D, um, 3D shapes, 3D solids, um, in particular platonic solids. So have a go at making some of the platonic solids using um, just pipe cleaner and straws. So we've got here a cube or a hexahedron or a tetrahedron here. Um, and then I want you to have a go at dipping these in soapy bubbly water because it will create an effect um, of a four dimensional shape. So a four dimensional cube, some of you might know, is a tesseract. And if you have a look, have a go at dipping this in bubbly water and see if you can create that same image as well. Next activity in this section is the computer always wins. So first off, we're just playing a game of noughts and crosses. So hopefully you've played noughts and crosses before. If you haven't, the winner is the person who gets either three noughts or three crosses in a row. Have a few games with a friend. Have a go at playing first and then second. Does it make any difference, do you think, to the game whether you go first or second? And then we wonder if you could write a set of instructions so that somebody who goes first would always win. And is that even possible? So the idea is that the set of instructions is similar to um, a computer program. So this is what we give to computers. We write computer programs for them. And then we're gonna look at another game called Hexaporn. Now, Hexaporn is actually much more simple than Noughts Crosses. And that's why we use Hexaporn to do this challenge where we're building a machine that learns from you and eventually becomes unbeatable. So simulating machine learning. Now, we've included the counters for this game, so there's three white hexagons there and three black hexagons. And you can just draw a three by three grid and have a go at playing a few rounds with a friend first or playing online as well. Do you notice anything again in this game if you go first or second? Um, is there a way that makes it easier if it, to win? Then gonna have a go at building your hexaporn computer game. Now, the idea is, is this is a process of elimination. You'll play as the white player and the computer will play as the black player. Now, every time the computer loses, that move that they play to make them lose becomes eliminated from the game and they eventually will never play a losing, game, losing move again. And that's what makes them unbeatable. On pages 22 and 23, you'll see 24 images. That's all the possible moves the computer can make. 
we have included another video specifically about how to play hex porn that goes into a bit more detail about setting the game up, how the process of elimination works. So check that out if you want to find out a little bit more about the game. So the next section in the booklet is looking at Jahinga, who's a broadcast hero, and this is looking at sound and how that's used in engineering entertainment. The first part is actually looking at sound waves, and there's a really nice activity included in the kit where there are these uh, small wooden rods and some nuts, and what you can do is make your own wave machine to actually look at the behaviour of waves, including sound waves. Now this wave machine can model different sorts of media that the wave is travelling through and you can actually alter that by adding the nuts on the end and I found if I put a small amount of tape around it meant that the nut was held securely. So that's a really nice one for you to have a go at. The next one is actually one of my personal favourites called synthetic beats and this is using a thing called the bumble beep. Now this is included in the kit and there are instructions inside on how to use it but you've just got the battery that you put in the back there are then a couple of crocodile clips and you just connect these onto the bumble beep. And what we can now do is we can control the sound that it makes. Now this device here, this small electrical component is called an LDR, which is a light dependent resistor. And effectively, as we change the resistance of this circuit, it gives out a different note. And what we can do is move our hand back and forwards to change the amount of light landing on this component and that affects the note that we hear. The other thing that you can do is if you get a thick pencil, and I'm just going to draw a really thick line on the piece of paper down here. Inside the pencil we have graphite, which is a conductor. And what we can then do is we can put the two ends of these crocodile clips onto the graphite. And as we alter the position, we change the amount of resistance in this circuit, and then that also affects the noise given out. So I think the, bim the bumble beep is really, really effective. So next we have Pavlina. Pavlina is a light engineer who designs lighting for fashion shows, uh, museums and art galleries. Now, um, a large part of Pavlina's work is understanding how light affects people's mood, what light does to a space, but also what different light intensities are needed for different colours. So we're going to look at red, green and blue, the primary colours of light. So for this challenge, we're looking at the RGB bug. You might um, have guessed, but RGB stands for red, green and blue. Um, and there's a number of little functions on this bug. So first of all, I'm just going to turn it on. And I'm just going to go through the different intensities within green. So we've got 5, 0%, 25, 50, 75 and 100. So I'm going to run through those now. So, one, two, four. And then if I try and go up again, it will give me a double flash to let me know that that's the, that's the brightest um, that you'll get from the green. I can also record my own colour sequences using the centre button. So every time I want to record a colour, I do the colour and then I press the centre button. So, one green and then record, another green and then record, a red and record and a red and record and then I'm going to press play and it will run through that colour sequence and then finally you can run through all the colours that could, will ever be available on here by just pressing play and then in the booklet you'll find some challenges can you find the colours um, given the intensities? Or can you tell us which um, what intensity of red, green and blue is needed to find yellow, uh, to find orange? And then have a little go experimenting yourselves. So yeah, that is everything on the Setting the Mood Challenge. And finally, the very last activity in this booklet is about Sonia, who's a dream maker. And this is looking at how light that can be reflected can be used to make illusions. And the illusion that you can have a go at creating yourself is called Pepper's Ghost. So I just built this box out of cardboard. I've got my mobile phone where I can have an image on this. And inside this is where we have that perspex sheet that you receive in the pack. Now at 45 degrees, what this can do is it can reflect or partially reflect the image on the phone and then make it appear to be on the stage. When you actually get this working, it's really, really interesting and it's definitely worth having a go at yourself at home. So this is the latest resource from the Royal Academy of Engineering. 
You can download a copy of the booklet on their STEM resources website and you can also request a hard copy through your teachers. So thank you very much and I really hope that you enjoy some of these STEM activities for This Is Engineering Entertainment.